Hi, my name is Changa Bomanaveni. I am the OSM product manager. In this presentation, I will highlight the new features in the OSM 735 release and the key business benefits that come along. This is the safe hardware statement. In this presentation, I will first highlight the key business benefits that this release brings in. I will then expand further on the different areas which we have enhanced as part of this release and talk to them in detail. In the OSN 735 release, we focused on three investment themes, namely performance and scalability, operational efficiency and database sizing. The goal of performance and scalability theme is to achieve optimal system performance and improve system scalability. The goal of operational efficiency is to improve product usability and availability. Lastly, the goal of uh, database sizing is to optimize the database and improve the database maintainability. This slide provides the key business benefits that you get with OSM 735 release. Number one, cartridge memory management improvement. In this release, there is a significant reduction in memory footprint of cartridges. Number two, eliminate the need to redeploy cartridges after the patch or release upgrades, thereby providing significant reduction in the operational maintenance window during upgrades. Number three, the OSM installer has been enhanced to improve robustness and reduce the total time to install. Number four, enhanced follow-up management by means of message parking feature that solves the order stuck problem. Number five, simplified design time experience to reduce implementation effort with O2A's support for single sender receiver tasks. Note O2A 212 will be delivered at a later point of time. Number six, online cartridge purging improvement, thereby cartridge purge for fast and apply cartridges no longer require OSM to be placed offline. Number seven, supporting latest platform versions that include support for Fusion middleware 12.2 DB 12.1 and Java 8, thereby customers have to deal with fewer patches to manage. Number 8, in order to enable our customers to develop their own UI or mobile applications for task management, we are removing a deprecation node on OSM's XML API. And lastly, number 9, as part of aligning to the Viewer CX approach, we removed customer asset and account manager module in OSM and recommending CPQ R1 for asset management and CDM cloud for account management. Now I will expand further on each of the features and capabilities. As stated earlier, this release provides significant reduction in memory footprint of packages. As a result, customers can now have uh, greater flexibility to keep older cartridge versions for longer duration so that uh, more orders can complete naturally instead of uh, terminating them prematurely and resubmitting the order. Also, it solves the Java heap memory issue that customers were facing with earlier releases of OSM. And it is also important to note that uh, with OSM 735 uh, release, it requires fewer managed service servers for the, the same throughput. This release eliminates the need to redeploy cartridges after the patch or release upgrade, thereby providing significant reduction in the operational maintenance window to upgrade OSM. Also, customer cartridges no longer need to be re rebuilt using the new SDK versions and redeployed. This release enhanced the installer in multiple areas to improve robustness by analyzing the overall installation processes, addressing bugs and enhancement requests. 
There is also a reduction to the total time to install OSM. Some of the improvements include disabling and re-enabling of OMS EAR during installation and upgrade. Stopping database sessions connecting to the schema to be upgraded. Generating random temp directories to ensure clean installation. Capturing date and timestamps into the DB install log file and additionally capturing the log of uh, OSM versions and build work numbers and also indicating the skipped user actions. During the analysis of many order stuck issues, it was found that majority of these issues are related to unhandled external response messages when tasks are not processable as per the current order state. With the new message parking capability, OSM can now handle external response messages when the tasks are not processable as per the current order state. With the fast cartridge and deploy feature introduced in OSM 722 release, some customers have accumulated metadata related to the fast and deployed cartridges in their systems, which are starting to create performance issues on cartridge de uh, deployment actions and hence needed to be purged from the DB by taking OSM offline. This new feature allows cartridge purge of uh, fast and deployed cartridges online by removing foreign keys on order tables that reference the cartridge metadata. This also provides ability to undeploy purge a large number of cartridges online without requiring to disable uh, DB foreign keys constraints, thereby simplifying operation and improving system availability. Purging a fast undeploy cartridge metadata can be performed while the system is up and running. Now, coming to the platform support, this release of OSM is certified with Fusion Middleware 12.2, Oracle DB 12.1, Java 8, and latest versions of operating systems, such as Solaris 11.2, Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.1, IBM AIX 7.1, and HP UX Itanium 11i V3. Customers can now get benefited with the latest platform support as they need to deal with only fewer number of patches. Starting from this release, we allow customers to develop their own user interfaces or mobile applications using OSM's XML APIs as these APIs enables customers to create their own user interfaces by using the powerful OSM engine. Also mobile UI or applications have been built by SI partners as a replacement or argumentation of uh, OSM task line for field engineers. Apart from this, there are many pre 7.0 customers still using XML APIs for upstream integrations. Hence, in this release, we are removing the application of uh, XML APIs from the documentation to restore confidence among the customers and SI partners towards their existing investments. As part of aligning to wider CX approach, we are removing customer asset and account manager module in OSM and recommending CPQ R1 for asset management and CDM Cloud for account management. With this, I conclude the OSM 735 Watch New session and thank you for your participation.